If you have a cat that's really fractious and trying to eat you, but you have to do stuff to it, we're going to show you a little burrito technique. It's a towel, folded in half. I'm going to come over. I'm going to protect one claw, well, one leg. Expose the other, like so. And then, use this, this. And then their body is wrapped up so they can't wiggle away. Lots of support wrapped up so they feel like they're just like, oh, everything feels good and comfy. And then you've also got the leg out so then you can get to it if you need to with your little trip, trip, trip. You guys, you don't need to scruff them. Like, one of these things is gonna work for you. Um, once in a while here, for an animal's protection or a person's protection, we need to scruff them just to control them. And some cats, if you scruff them, will just sort of lay there and be calm, and some will absolutely flip out and be worse. And you don't know until you try. But if you do need to scruff them, I usually just start with a petting, and I do a very gentle hold. I'm not grabbing them, I'm not picking them up by this, I'm just very gently holding. Like, I barely have a, a hold here. Really gentle. Mm -hmm. And then I then I take again lots of support, lots of support, and right over to the side. This way I can control the head if I need to, but I can also just scratch when she's on her side. I can just put her on her side real gently. I can hold the leg, and again I have the scruff if I need to, but most of the time you don't even need to hold very hard. So this is how we would do this if we were drawing blood or. We had a bad nail that we needed to, and she's making muffins. So she's like, yeah, this is cool. I don't mind this. And treat, good job. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any uh, comments, put them below. Tell all your friends to subscribe and say how much you love Olive.